All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to give you a little uh, introduction on this tool called QGIS. Go to the link in the description and uh, download this tool from this link. So it's basically a free and open source geographic information system and it is used by cartographers to create maps and stuff like that. But for us, we're just going to create our map and we can export that map from QGIS to DaVinci Resolve where we can create our animation. So up until now, what we used to do is we used to uh, bring in a satellite image into the scene over here and we used to bring image of a country and we used to manually place that image onto the map, onto the satellite image over here. And it used to take a lot of time. Let's say you want to do the same thing with three or four different countries. And uh, you can already imagine that how much time it would take to manually place uh, that image onto the map. So this is where QGIS will help us. It will automatically place your maps or the countries onto, uh, onto the right location. You don't have to manually place them. So yeah, go ahead and download this program, download this tool, QGIS, and just install it. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux as well. So uh, once you open that up, this is how it is going to look. This is a blank new project. To create your very first map, uh, at the bottom you see coordinate over here. So if you just double click there and type in world in lowercase and hit enter, then you can see that we have this world map already uh, in the in the application over here. So if you hover your mouse cursor long enough onto any country, then you you will see a tooltip, and that will also mention the name of that country. So let's say we go to this country, and it says Brazil, and this country is going to be Argentina. So it's really helpful. So now the next thing is we want to uh, bring in satellite images. So this tool is quite powerful. We are not going to touch all of these. Um, all of these UI elements over here. Although you could, you could just create some really cool looking maps, uh, really detailed maps using this software. But we're gonna just keep it simple. We're just going to export our maps from QGIS and bring it to DaVinci Resolve. To bring in a satellite image, uh, what you have to do is you want to use plugins for that. So in QGIS, um, there is a plugin, if I go to web over here at the top, uh, there's a plugin called Quick Map Services. And it has, uh, it contains all of the list of different map providers. So you can just pick any one of these. Go ahead and go to plugins, uh, go to manage and install plugins. And then in the search box type in uh, quick map services, there is also another one called map Tyler and this quick OSM. These are really helpful uh, plugins that you should definitely check out. If I go to my install plugins, I have these three already installed. Um, there is another plugin called HCMGIS, uh, which will also which also contains different maps. So you can also um, check that out as well, which is right over here. If I go to HCMGIS, there are different base maps over here, and you can pick any one that you want. And once you install these plugins, and um, in the tiles over here, XYZ tiles, you have uh, some maps over here as well. So you can pick any one from here. So for example, if I uh, use open street map double click on that and you can see that we have a map over here and you can zoom into it it contains all the data of that particular area right you can just zoom in a lot into this and you know export this as well uh, but for now we will just export a satellite image of this area over here so i'm going to just get rid of this layer you can see in the layers panel it created two layers the first one is our world map and the second one is the open street map that we just created. To delete the layer, you just have to right click and click on remove layer and click on OK and that will get rid of it. We will use quick map services for this. So go to web, quick map services and we can pick anyone from here. So let's go to Bing and use Bing satellite image. So this is the satellite imagery coming in from Bing. You can rearrange your layers by simply dragging and dropping it and rearranging, reordering it. So it's uh, pretty simple. Now you want to focus on uh, a specific region. So I can just use the zoom tool over here, zoom in, click on that, and I can just um, create this selection around that region and we will zoom into that area like that. I'm gonna hide this layer for now, pink satellite. So just hide it. 
and now we are left with this world map over here and i want to select a few countries over here so uh, in order to do that you have to use this tool called select features by area so just like that and then you have you can click on the area that you want to pick or the country that you want to pick so we'll pick venezuela and then let's pick peru so if you hold the control key on the keyboard you can select uh, multiple uh, features and then we'll just also select brazil here so you can you know, select multiple countries all at once and then we need to export this uh, selected feature right and in order to do that we have to select this world map layer right click on it and click on export and then we have to click on save selected features as so go ahead and click on that and you just leave the default settings and just give it a file name so you can save it any way that you want i'm going to save it on my desktop and call it test and click on save and click on okay and then you it will um, automatically re-import that file over here so now you can get rid of the world map over here this layer so right click you can remove that layer and click on okay and now you're left with the satellite image and then the the test world map over here um, now we need to export these two images on separate layers and to do that we have to first of all we will export the map over here and in order to do that we have to go to new print layout click on that and you just um, name it whatever you want so i'm going to call it one two three and click on okay and then just click um give it a click on this blank canvas over here and this will show the item properties for the size we want this to be custom and then with the height we'll change the millimeters to pixels and we will make it 4k so 4k resolution which is 38 four zero by two one six zero and then as for the background we will just set the opacity to zero all right so now we can um, create our map so in order to do that we have to click on this icon that says add map and just simply drag across and this will add a map onto this canvas over here now we need to export this map so to export it you have different options you can export it as image which is png then you have an option to export it as SVG file. If you want to further animate this in DaVinci Resolve, uh, you can do that as well. And then there is an option to export as PDF as well. So we'll just keep it simple, export as image and just save it wherever you want to save it. I'm going to give it a name 123.png and click on save and just make sure that the page width and height are correct and click on save. And once it is done, you will see a link over here. Click on that and uh, you will have your map over here just refresh it if it's not there you can see your map over here but i can see that it is not transparent there is still this white background so let's uh, do this again one more time uh, we have to go to item properties over here and there will be a a background checkbox over here make sure you untick it and then let's export this again export as image just over at that file and click on save and now they should be transparent like that all right cool so uh, we have that image and now we need to export the satellite image so in order to do that we have to go back to our project over here hide the test layer over here and enable the bing satellite make sure you don't move the image over here make sure it is as it is because if you move it then you will change the alignment of the map and it will become difficult to you know put the countries where it should belong so make sure you leave the map as it is and then you can just simply export it so again in the layout manager which is already open you can open that window again and then you simply have to refresh the view and now you will see the satellite image over here so you can see at the at the bottom it is um, rendering it so just wait for it to finish and there you have it now you just export it again the same process save it as a image and you can save it in different file formats we will use png for this and let's call it one two three four click on save and check the page width and the height and go ahead and click on save and uh, it is going to save over here in the same location so just hit refresh and you should see the map over here so now we can bring these two um, maps inside auto entry resolve so let's open up resolve and i'm going to just get rid of this over here and bring in these two images into resolve 
take a look at it and you can see that already it is placed perfectly onto the map you didn't have to manually place these countries onto the satellite image so you can see that how easy it becomes when it comes to creating maps over here that was basically it i want to create more um, qgis tutorials more detailed uh, tutorials about qgis but for now i think this is sufficient so i'm planning to create a map root animation we will use qgis for that and also we'll use google maps for that to create our map root animation again you don't have to manually uh, draw the path on the map it will all be automated make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you push that notification thing so that you are notified whenever i upload that video for now this is enough uh, you can further animate it if you want to maybe you want to create some animation in here uh, maybe after this you can add a dve node click on add and create some cool you know 3d looking maps like that uh but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this video was uh, helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching again i'll see you guys in the next one